I spent hundreds of hours grinding in Diablo Immortal to unlock all 42 legendary essences for the Necromancer class. In this video, we're going to look at all the Necromancer skills along with the different augments. So let's start off here with the primary basic attacks, Bone Spear and Soulfire. Bone Spear gets one augment from Blightmoor. This gives Bone Spear a poison attack which does damage over time for 3 seconds. Next is Soulfire, which also has only one augment. That comes from Baleful Trinity. This allows the attack to bounce to one enemy, but does 30% less damage to subsequent targets. The Necromancer is an incredibly versatile class, and Bone Armor showcases this really well with its ability to be an offensive or defensive skill. Bone Armor has five augments, three of which provide bonuses to the skills such as Grave Dirt's Weight, which stops you from being knocked back from attacks, a Parting Gift, which grants immunity to you and your party members, and this one is a powerful PvP skill, allowing your team to survive initial burst damage. There is also Graven Bulwark, which increases the duration of the Bone Armor skill. We then have Covet Nothing, which allows Bone Armor to deal damage when activated and increases the damage taken of the enemies that were hit. Bone Armor also has a Flickering Warmth, which summons three Bone Spikes that orbit around you and shred the enemies as you move around. So Bone Spikes has three augments, with Chasm Crosser increasing the range by 20%. We then have No Mouth Face, which removes the stun effect and charge up time of Bone Spikes, and instead sends forward three spikes at a time that cause knockback. Bone Spikes also has Hideous Dawning, which causes spikes to come up from the ground in pale enemies, causing bleed damage that does not stun. Then we have Bone Spirits. This skill only has one augment, which comes from Ill Tongue and this just gives a flat 10% increase to damage. Next up we have Bone Wall, which has some really cool looking augments. So it has five augments in total, with Eyes Allure allowing the Bone Walls to be ignited, causing damage over time to nearby enemies, and Sacral Chouse, which increases the duration of the skill. Bone Wall also has the Inviting Tomb, which creates a circular prison of bone around yourself or an enemy. You're able to pass through the wall, but any enemy inside will be stuck there for a short period. Then we have Ever Grasping Vestment, which summons a line of skeletal soldiers that charge forward, dealing damage and knock back to the enemies. The final augment for Bone Wall comes from Exhumant's Backbone, which summons a pillar of rotting corpses that knocks enemies into the air, dealing damage and then slowing any nearby enemies. Next up we have Command Golem, which has six augments. Beacon of the Lead increases damage. Visitant's Sign increases the Golem's duration. Dominance from Dust will split the Golem in half when it dies. So there's three types of Golem Augments, with Priest Scrub Knife summoning a Stone Golem that throws boulders and will roll through enemies. Then there's Accounting for Weakness, which summons a Skeletal Golem that can consume nearby corpses to gain additional strength. Its leap damage will also hit all enemies in its path. And then we have my favourite Golem, which comes from Desolatoria. This is a Molten Golem that does damage over time to nearby enemies, and its leap has an area of effect. Next we have Command Skeletons, which by default summons four Skeletal Warriors. This one has six augments, with the Prong decreasing time to raise new Skeletons when one dies. Life Imbalance, which sends 10% of the damage you take back to the Skeletons instead. And Pierce Hammer, which increases the Skeletons damage. We can also change the skeletons into archers with Mirror Ictus. There's also Coals for Eyes, which allows you to command your skeletons to go to a location and then explode, dealing area of effect damage to nearby enemies. And then finally, Command Skeletons has the Crown of the Gilded Leash, which allows you to summon one powerful skeletal captain who you can command to Whirlwind in a, in a location, which does damage to all nearby enemies. Next is Corpse Explosion, which has four augments, with Clot Burst giving a flat 10% increase to damage. Then there's a Rot Spur, which will cause the corpses to release poison in the area, damaging enemies over time. Then we have Lone Preserver, which causes Corpse Explosion to inflict chill on nearby enemies and can freeze enemies when stacked. And the final augment for Corpse Explosion comes from Surge and Stillness, which causes the corpses to grow legs and run towards enemies before exploding. Truly stuffed from nightmares. Now Corpse Lance only has one augment, which is Rosin's Keening, 
which just increases the damage by 10%. And then Dark Curse has four augments. We have a Linger Mantle increasing the duration by 30%. It then has Mournful Destroyer, which causes damage over time in the targeted area. We then have Soul Chime, which causes enemies to explode on death. And finally we have Guided by Maggots, which causes your summons to gain Frenzy, which increases their attack and movement speed. Next up is Grim Scythe. This is the only Necromancer skill that has no augment at all. Then we have Skeletal Mage, which has three augments, with Zoroko increasing the damage by 10%. And Skull Veil, which increases the duration by 20%. The Skeletal Mage can also be changed with Welcome End into a powerful Grim Reaper, but this also increases the cooldown. And finally, we have Wraith Form, which has just two augments. The first one comes from Gallows Born, which allows you to generate corpses as you move through Wraith Form. And then we have Proximal Fear, which causes enemies to gain fear making them flee, and also to take damage. So that's all of the legendary essences for the Necromancer. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what your favorite build is for the Necromancer, and I will see you again soon in another video. All right, take care.